Alright, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to be watching Loki, episode 3. Now, in the last episode, Loki had this really good idea to travel between apocalypses because you cause, if you go to an apocalypse and you fuck with everything, nothing's going to happen. It's not going to branch off because everything's about to get fucking destroyed anyway. So, Loki realized that. He pointed that out to Mobius and then they went to this apocalypse in 2050. Trying to get, like, Loki tried to team up with her and she was like, nah, like, I don't, I don't need you. I'm the superior Loki. You know, they were going back and forth on, like, who's the superior Loki and stuff, which is kind of funny. You know, because their egos are both so fucking high. They both think they're the superior one. But, she was like, nah, I don't need you. And then, at the end, she dipped out and she left the, the door open or portal or whatever long enough to where loki could jump through it and then he jumped through it and it closed so now loki's with her now mobius does feel pretty fucking betrayed because he actually started to trust loki you know i think loki just wants to destroy the tva because it's causing him so much pain he's just like fuck this pl fuck this place like this needs to be destroyed he wants to talk to the timekeepers too and destroy them or whatever so i i'm pretty sure he just wants to be set back to his like original timeline and just carry on with his life but you know they're like nah so his best chance of getting what he wants lies with her so he joined her you know it's, it was nothing personal mobius it was nothing personal but it's just business so anyways i'm gonna stop wasting time we're just gonna hop right into this episode if you'd like to watch the full length reaction that'll be available on patreon as well early access to the next two episodes will also be available on patreon so let's get started Eat somewhere else. <laughs> Why do you hate this place? I don't hate it. I fear it. You know yeah, wait. That's the uh, that's the female Loki right there. That's absolutely not true. It is. Okay, try it. Whatever you're thinking about will get frozen in place. I'm gonna ask you a question, and you won't be able to tell me the answer until your synapses have melted. Okay, ask. How many people are guarding the timekeepers? <laughs> Too long. Seriously, though, you know you can tell me anything, right? Of course. So why won't you tell me how many people are guarding the timekeepers? Oh, well, there's... <laughs> but I don't know you. It's okay. You're just tired. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I was C20. Okay, okay, okay. I was like, who the, fu who the fuck is she talking to? Okay, she's in her head. All right, got it. Yeah, and this is when they pulled up, so then she got ready. Okay, okay, okay. Damn, that's a pretty cool power. Basically, create a fake situation in her head with her. And we're like, hey, we're best friends. And we're like, trying to basically pull information out. Ah, they came back here. Why? Oh, they get to the timekeepers? Wait, does she know Loki came? Our Loki. Damn, that was a nice high kick. <laughs> Waxed. Up oh, there he is. <laughs> Damn, you waxed your partner. Few questions. Have you really got nothing else better to do? <laughs> Rude. <laughs> <laughs> Rude. <laughs> I thought perhaps we could work together. Uh, the way like Loki flipped the daggers is kind of funny. And then he was like, "Rude." <laughs> you lack vision. Oh. oh, we know, we know vision. He died. <laughs> oh, you won't. Either way, that's how I get to be oh, the timekeeper. Mm -hmm. Hey. Oh shit, uh, Loki, you would have lost that. <laughs> Come any closer and I'll kill him. Go for it. Yeah, they're gonna kill him. They're gonna kill him themselves. Anyway, but I already right, got out. I'll get off my get ah, don't let her get a Loki. Fuck, she got it. Oh, dead battery. Sucks. Oh, Loki has his powers here. Oh shit. Is that one of your powers? Where did you send us? Yeah, where are you? Uh, okay, are they in uh, another apocalypse then? He just fucking panicked and went the first place and 
2077. Yeah, they're in an apocalypse. Oh my god, that moon is coming in hot. You idiot! This is Lamentus 1. The moon that planet is about to press into and destroy. Yeah. No one makes it off here. Watch out! Damn, no one makes it off this? You blow up, it blows up, and then I end up blown up. Now? Oh, kind of have to be in it for now, but yeah. Wait, look, where'd he send the tin pad at? Cause like he hid it from her, but where'd he send it? Oh, my lights aren't even on. There we go. Oh, she's gonna. She can't though. She can't. What's he doing? What are you doing? <laughs> You're trying to enchant me. Yeah. It won't work, Tempad. But I'm not gonna get very far if it keeps trying to kill me every day. Well, you're yeah. Do you need me to get that thing recharged? That's the only reason you saved me out there. Hmm. Maybe. Nah. Yeah. Oh. I mean, sure. That too. It is, but we don't admit to it. Plan you interrupted was years in the making. Oh, that's tough. Cry about it. Be a to finish what I started. Good. I'll kill you then. Or I'll kill you. <laughs> <laughs> I love the way that. Tom Hiddleston delivers his lines. I don't know why, but it's so satisfying. Like, it makes me want to watch other stuff that has Tom Hiddleston in it just for him. Just because I have to work with you doesn't mean I want to hear your voice. <laughs> I think they're getting along great, guys. Good, because that's not who I am anymore. I'm Sylvie now. Hmm, Sylvie. What exactly makes a Loki a Loki? Independence, authority, style. So. So you're not even a Loki technically. I'm just kidding. Your years in the making plan was to tear the place down, create the ultimate power vacuum, and then just walk away. I'd never have done that. Yeah? Well, I'm not you. Yeah, Loki can't walk away when it's done. He has to stay in rule. I'm just checking the coupling, making sure it can connect. I don't trust you. Okay, hand it over. No. <laughs> Fuck no, you gotta be fucked up. No. Either. The tempad requires a massive power source, not a nightlight. <laughs> Almost got me. Not really, but I'm not gonna fold that easy. Brute force is no substitute for diplomacy and guile. Hmm. Okay, Loki. Ooh. Oh shit. Oh, she was just sitting there ready with that shit. <laughs> That you ever made it as far as you did. Yeah. Sorry about that. Joffy. I enjoyed it. Oh, I did too. Hmm. <laughs> <sighs> Hello, dear. It's her husband. It's been a long time. You're as beautiful as I was. And wax him too. Well, dude, she literally heard him talk to her right before he did that, so it's like... <laughs> okay, oh, no, that's how she knew. Not because Loki was literally just talking to her right before he did, right before he did that. Where is everyone? The Ark. The Ark? The evacuation vessel. Mm, okay, we're going. Train station's the edge of town. But you'll never get a ticket. Oh, yeah, like only the rich people get tickets, can afford a ticket for it or whatever. Is it something like that? The art leaves tonight, and we've been waiting in line for hours. God, that'd be so scary. It just, like, this plan's literally about to get fucking destroyed, and, like, you're just waiting to leave, and, ah. Uh. We're doing this one my way. Hmm. How do we look? No one saw that? No guard saw that? There's literally a guard. There's literally a guard right over that. Like, literally. Alright, whatever. To literally to his left. Alright. Loki, put your fucking thing down. They're only giving tickets out to the wealthy! Damn. That's so sad. I'd feel so shitty if I was. A like, if I was able to get on this, just leave everyone. I would feel so shitty, dude. Right. Well, I never sit with my back to a door. What? <laughs> there are doors on both sides. Oh, just sit. Yeah. <laughs> Plans have multiple steps. Dressing as a guard and getting on a train. We improvise here, okay? That's what we do. I can't sleep in a place like this. 
Yeah, I, I wouldn't sleep on a train. No, I can't sleep around can't. untrustworthy people. Exactly. But you feel free to take a nap. Nah. Tempad, when someone taught you fairly decent magic. My mother. Mm. <laughs> oh, his mom. She was a witch, or she was raised by witches. What was she like? She was great. But then I killed her. Well, I didn't kill her, but I was pretty responsible for it. <laughs> I had a bit of a spoiler for you. Sorry about that. Mm. No, I knew I was adopted. What? Yeah. They told you? Yeah. Damn, they, they told you. No. <laughs> Jokes. So, tell, tell me about your mother. Yeah, I would be curious to see how her life turned out and everything. She was the kind of person you want to believe in you. Sounds like she does. Aw, uh, yeah. But then I killed her. I haven't done it yet, but I do it later on. Like he knows he he knows he does illusion. Really, it'd be easier if I just shoot. enchanted me and make no. you give me the temp back so you can leap out a moving train. No, thank you. Well, then don't ask. Okay. Shut the fuck off. <laughs> yes, thank you very much. No, I'm good, thanks. I love their dynamic. <laughs> oh, more for me. Good. Mm -hmm. She hates him. Maybe love is hate. For you, yeah. I already know if she was in a relationship. It would be toxic as fuck. I suspect the same as you. But nothing ever real. Same. You do realize we're about to try and hijack the power source to a civilization's only hope. Yeah, why are you getting drunk right now? Alright, well, he's gonna be too faded to do anything, and then she's gonna cross him hell hard. Yeah, see, this fool's fucked up. This fool's so faded. He's having the time of his life. Oh my god. Oh, is he? Yeah, he's out of his costume now. Hmm, I got a sus. You singing for her? She does not like that at all. Dude, look, he's vibing right now. Bro, he started like kind of singing right there. She was so uncomfortable. Another. Oh, another, yeah. Thor did that. You're drunk. No. Yes. Just take my word in the figure port. But Where's your uniform? We're meant to be laying low. Nobody cares. It's the end of the world. Yeah. Hmm. It's a weapon to be wielded far away or up close. Hmm. You can until it makes you bleed. Yep. It isn't real. Mm hmm Love is an imaginary dagger. Okay, when you when you say it like that, it sounds stupid. <sighs> fuck you. You just ruined my metaphor. Ah, fuck us. Sir, can I see your tickets? No. Yeah, they're right here, actually. Let me just write. <laughs> Come on, Loki, save her. No, you're not. No, don't throw it. <laughs> yeah. Damn, Loki. How fucking hard can you kick? Nice. She has to go with him. Good job, Loki. Good fucking job. Oh, you dumbass. Um, I did take quite the tumble. You asshole. You killed us. Maybe we can fix it. Yeah, we're, we're basically dead. Yeah, we're pretty much dead. All right, now we're actually dead. All right, sick. Brain. I'm hedonistic. That's what I do. I'm hedonistic. A lot more than you, I assure you. But mm -hmm. never. I think she's mad. Siri, what does hedonistic mean? I'm kidding. I know it. it's like Here's looking for a good time or some shit. Like it means it means something like you just want to have a good time. Pad. Well, and that planet is about to crash into us. Yeah, we have a bit of a problem on our hands. The ark never leaves because it's destroyed. Never had us on it. Mm hmm. Wouldn't that create a branch though? Yeah, if the ark leaves, wouldn't that create a branch? Because that's that's not what's supposed to happen. So. 
Mm. Yeah, that's not how enchantment works. Alright, how does it work? Doesn't matter. Nah, she doesn't want to tell him. So he can't learn. Subtle way of asking how enchantment works, but she caught on to Use that tactical advantage to kill me when the TVA shows up. Worried, are you? I just... Oh, 100%. I don't trust you at all. I feel like you're going to stab me in my throat. First chance you get. I'm in control, but they're there too. Mm -hmm. In order to preserve the connection. Like the beginning of the C20. And I have to create a fantasy from their memories. Okay, it makes sense. Yeah, that's what she do with C20 in the beginning. I had yep. to pull a memory from hundreds of years prior. Damn. Before she even fought for them. Before oh. she joined the TVA. Wait, before she joined the... A regular person on Earth. A regular person. Wait. She loved Margarita. That everyone who works at the TVA was created by the timekeepers. That's yes. That's ridiculous. They're all variants, just like us. Wow, okay. This is new information. I guess they don't fucking know that. So they've all... They all have the live outside of the TVA. And they're all just variants. So they're all just basically looking... And like, yeah, you're a piece of shit. You broke the timeline, so we're just gonna employ you now. <laughs> so Mobius doesn't even know then. Five minutes until launch. They're gonna let these people die. Oh yeah, they are. They don't give a fuck about anyone here. But they all die too, because they never make it. Damn, we weren't even that far away when we got booted off the train. Oh, that, that would be so terrifying to see. Just a moon break in half like that. I think I would just lay there and accept my death. Like, I would try and die the fastest way possible. Obviously, Loki and Sylvie can't do that, but like, if I was just a regular civilian. Bro, why are you trying to fight them? You're about to die. Like, what's the point of doing your job? Bro, you're not making it onto that thing. Yeah. Even if it did sort of take off and get out of here, you were never going to make it. The engines are literally already firing. But it's fucking destroyed now, so... Bro, why are the workers devastated in the back? They were... Why are they devastated? I mean, I get they wanted it to take off, but like, still, it's like, dog, they left you behind. <laughs> Alright, well, that was Loki, episode 3. Alright, so that was Loki, episode 3. I guess they just fucking die on this planet, you know? The Ark... The art got destroyed, they couldn't get there in time to change it or whatever. It doesn't matter that if, if it would make a branch now because they didn't do it. And this moon's crashing in hard as fuck and I guess they all died. I guess that's the end of the show. Okay, obviously they don't actually die. But <sighs> we found out some pretty good information in this. We know Sylvie's powers. She can enchant people. She grabs them. She can go into their mind, go into memories, and kind of manipulate them anyway. But then we also found out it does make sense too. We also found out that the TVA employees are just variants because she said she went back into C20's memories before, like a hundred, like a couple hundred years, I guess, before she became part of the TVA. You know, and Loki's like, wait, what do you mean? I thought the TVA created them to specifically do this. I'm like, nope, they're all variants. You know, I was kind of like wondering, okay, did she just create that memory in her head? Like, was that just a fabricated memory in C20's head or what? Like. But I guess it actually happened. So, so that's new information. Now I guess now I know when we're gonna try and tell Mobius that he's not even gonna try and fucking, he's not even gonna believe us. He's like, no, you're lying, like blah blah. Because, well, he's not gonna believe us now, especially now because we kind of crossed him by joining, like him leaving and joining Sylvie. So, yeah, he's gonna be pretty pissed off about that. That's gonna be pretty awkward. But regardless, we have to figure out a way to get back. Uh, the tin pad got destroyed. Because Loki, when he was thrown out of the train, I guess, it was in his pocket or whatever, and he landed on it. And, yeah, uh, kind of um, kind of a rookie move, Loki. So, I, I don't know what the fuck is going to happen. This plan's about to get destroyed, unless someone comes and saves them. That's, like, the only way I can think of that they get out of this. Unless the TVA, found, like, they find out where they are, and then they go and get them at the last second. Like, that's, that's literally the only way, because this plan's about to be destroyed in, like, five minutes. Like, less than five minutes. We're about to be wiped out, so... 
We also got a really nice moment between Loki and Sylvie on the train when they were talking about their mom and stuff. When Loki was talking about his mom, it was, that was a nice vulnerable moment. You know, he got to kind of open up about some things. I feel like he never really tells people, you know, and I feel like he's starting to like Sylvie. Like he's kind of starting to get feelings for her, but she's not really getting feelings for him. She definitely seems more cold hearted than him or she's just like harder to break through and get her to like you more than it is for Loki. So we'll see where that goes. I think they're going to develop a nice relationship, not like they're going to have a nice dynamic, a nice like relationship where they they hate each other. But it's like they secretly like each other, you know, and it's like just admit your feelings for each other, like Hopper and Joyce kind of, you know, like Murray was just like admit your fucking feelings for each other. You know, I feel like it's going to be something like that. And they're going to like subtly take jabs at each other, but it's going to be like their way of flirting, you know, so. But yeah, that was Loki episode three. Comment down below what you thought about this episode down below in the comments. If you liked the video, like the video. And thanks for watching.